Oh, good. Well, look, speaking of, of grannies, are you using her more as a nanny than a granny? Apparently, parents are relying so much on grandparents these days for childcare, it's totally exhausting them, and they're ending up in hospital. So are you putting too much pressure on grandparents these days? I don't... I mean, you do a lot of babysitting. I do, yeah. And, but you choose to as well. I choose to, obviously. yeah. And my mum brought my kids up as well, because I was working, I was doing birds at the time, and um, so she'd look after the children while I was working. And But I said to her, I'm going to pay you for this, because if I didn't have you, I'd have to pay a nanny or I'd have to pay someone to look after the children. She never wanted to take the money, but I made her take the money. Did she teach thought... Louie how to smoke? <laughs> yes. <laughs> My mum used to smoke and her and Louie used to have a fag break. So my mum would have a cigarette and Louie would have a pencil and he'd just sit there. Oh. Come on, Nan, let's have our fag break. But then later on in life, he did start smoking. I said, that's all your fault. You taught him how to smoke. That and she introduced Bobby Girl to chicken nuggets. I know she'd take her, take her, her chicken this. nuggets every day. But, uh, yeah, but I, I absolutely love looking after my grandchildren. I'll do anything I can to help Lauren because she's got the baby now, Betsy, five months. So sometimes if I'm not working here, I go and pick Lila up and take her to school so she doesn't have to get Betsy dressed and take her out in the cold. But there's and no doubt that you love that and you've really looked forward to Yeah, I do, to this I do. And it's double the love because it's two grandchildren. But you do work hard, don't you? get really exhausted sometimes. I did. I had Betsy for the first time overnight a couple of weeks ago yeah. and um, after about an hour and a half of her screaming, Lauren had gone to Craig David and was in Brighton and I thought, oh, I won't tell her because she'll get really upset. And it was her first night after she said the baby. So I ended up ringing Steve and saying, can you come round because I think we're going to have to run her up A&E or somewhere. And all he, all, he did, <laughs> all he did was picked her up, she done a big burp <laughs> And then she was smiling. <laughs> I, I never slept that night because I slept with her on the side. I put the two sofas together, put her in a little baby snuggle thing, and I laid there just watching her all night. So yeah. the next day I was like, oh, thank God, Lauren's coming home now to yeah. get her. I needed a break off. So imagine that. doing that every day. Every day, yeah, yeah. It is oh. exhausting.